Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the HTTP request and form. Occasionally, developers may need to fetch an instance of the ongoing HTTP request. In Laravel 8, we can obtain so by using request class in our controller. This will automatically fetch the incoming HTTP request inst instance. So let's see some usage of uh, HTTP request. For that, just uh, switch to the project and here just open any controller. So I am just going to open this user controller. Okay. And you can notice that illuminate HTTP request. Okay. This is this already attached to the all the controllers that we create with artisan command. All right. Now we can use this request class inside our controller method. So I'm just going to type here inside this index. Just write here request dollar request. Okay. Now just remove this text. And here uh, I'm just I'm just going to use uh, accessing the request method so just write here return dollar request and call the method function okay so just write here method okay now save this file and now let's check this so switch to the browser and just add here in the url user okay now press enter you can see here the requested method is get okay now let's see the path method okay path method returns the request path information so inside this controller method just add here path all right now save this file and let's check this so just refresh the page you can see here the path user okay this is the path now another request method is url uh, which is used to retrieve the url from the incoming request okay so let's see the url method so just write here url now save this file and refresh the page and you can see here the url okay if i add uh, some query string here just i'm going to add here name let's say this name of smith and age is equal to 32 now press enter you can see here the query string is not saying here so for showing the complete url with the query string we can use a full url method okay so just write here full url okay now save this file and switch to the browser and just refresh the page now you can see the complete url with query string okay all right now let's see how we can use form in laravel 8 for sending a request to the server so Let's create a controller first. So switch to the command prompt and here let's create a new controller. So just write here php artisan make colon controller and controller name. Let's say controller name is login controller. Okay. Now press enter. Controller created. Now rerun the application. So just write here PHP artisan serve. Now switch to the project and just open login controller. Okay. And inside uh, the login controller, let's create a function. So just write here public function. Uh, function name is index and inside this 
simply return here a view let's say view name is login okay now let's create this view so just go inside the resources directory then views and here just create a new file and just write here login.blade.php all right okay now let's create the route for this function okay so just go go to the web.php file so just open this file and here just create a new route so just write here route get and here just write slash login controller name so just write a big bracket and then just write here login controller okay also add here the login controller uh, here okay this one app http controllers login controller now just add here the colon colon class and add here the method name which is index also give the name so just write here name login dot index now save this file now just go to the login dot blade dot php file and here just add the html5 boilerplate so just type here exclamation sign and press tab now change the title just write here login all right now go to the getbootstrap.com okay so just open new tab and here just go to the getbootstrap.com and here click on get started now just copy the css cdn just paste here all right now copy the js cdn and here just paste all right save this file and uh, Inside the bootstrap page here just search form ok now click on from here just copy uh, this form so I am just copy this code and here inside this form uh, this login blade.php file just add the container first so just write here container then row column md let's say 6 and also set the offset so just write here offset md frame ok press tab now add the card so just write here card then card header just add here the card header uh, login ok and inside the card body just paste here the form code ok alright now just remove this checkbox and here just add the id email also change here remove this this is the password so just write here id password and copy and paste here ok now just remove this add here the name email and name is equal to password all right now save this file and uh, let's check this so switch to the browser and just go to the url login and you can see here the login form okay 
now go to the login controller and let's create another function so just create a function public function and let's say function name is login submit okay and and here simply return let's return a string let's write here form submitted okay now add the route for this function so just copy this function name and go to the web.php and here just write route post and URI login controller name login controller so just write here login controller okay colon colon class and add here the function name which is login submit okay and add here the name uh, here name just write here the name login dot submit okay now go to the login dot blade file and here just add the method post and add the action inside the double curly bracket just write here route and add the route name which is login dot submit so just write here login dot submit inside this form just add here at the rate csrf okay now save this file and let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now click on submit you can see here the message form submitted all right you can retrieve all input data uh, as an array using the all method so just go inside the controller and uh, here just pass the request dollar request and here just remove this text and just write here dollar request arrow all okay now save this file and let's check this so refresh the page and here just enter the email id smith j at the rate gmail.com and let's say password one two three four five six seven eight okay now click on submit you can see here submitted email id and password okay we can also get individual request input okay by using the request input method so for that switch to the login controller and here let's get individual request request so let's create a variable name and just write here request arrow input and just add the name of the control which is email uh, sorry create a variable email okay dollar email and one more the password so just write here password variable dollar request arrow input and just write here the name which is password all right now return here email use the concatenation operator dollar email okay and uh, password dollar password okay save this file and uh, let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now enter the email id
is gmail.com and password 12345678 okay now click on submit you can see here email id and password okay so in this way you can grab the input data from the request so that's all about laravel http request and forms so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching